Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and we're back for 10 more things that shock tourists when they come to Germany. The first thing I'm going to start off with is the German line culture, or should I say the lack of German line culture. Now, the stereotype of Germans, they're very orderly, they like rules and stuff like that. Well, all that goes out, out the window when it comes to lines, which is funny because the second thing that shocks you when you are here is how much the Germans do like their rules and regulations. They do like to have rules. They do like to have regulations. They want it all spelled out for them. If you work in business with Germans, you'll understand that with their contracts and stuff like that. As a tourist, what you'll see is there's going to be a lot Lots of forms and bureaucracy things you might need if you need to get a visa if you're coming here if you're signing hotels all these kind of things and that kind of leads into the third thing that'll shock you when you come here are the kooky funny little germanisms that you do have when you are here now i did my masters when i when i studied here i lived here for a while and i did my degree here and the funny thing is is they don't clap when you do something they knock they like knock on the tables, you're like, what? So that's like the professional way to clap, is knocking on the tables, which is kind of interesting. Or, or here's one, if someone's crazy, they do this, and hey, you're stupid, is this. And there's just these little tiny German things out there. Now, going on with those Germanisms, there's one that's actually kind of a shockingly important one to know is, in Germany, if it doesn't have a stamp, it did not happen. You have to have a stamp, Stampfer, 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 or a certificate, or a shine, or a certificate. Because for some reason, Germans, unless there's a stamp, it didn't really happen. Now, the fifth thing that shocks tourists when they come here is Germans actually speak English pretty darn well. It's just that they prefer if you start in German and then they really open up and you'll be shocked how nice the Germans will be when you do start speaking a little bit of German. Yes, they will laugh at you, but then they'll just switch to English for you. So don't be shocked if that German you think doesn't speak any English actually speaks better English than probably me, okay? And that leads into another shock that I kind of alluded to is the Germans actually are really nice, really helpful, wonderful people. You know, we've had these stereotypes for years of how mean and awful Germans are and how unfriendly they are and how uncaring they are. And that is so not true. Germans are really are wonderful people. You'll meet them in your hotel room. You'll meet them at the restaurants and the waiters and stuff like that. And when you start to talk to them, you get to know them. You really see how wonderful Germans really are. And it does shock people because they've been told their whole lives that Germans are these heartless, uncaring people. But honestly, if you have a German friend, you have a German friend for life and it's amazing. Now. The seventh shock I have for you when you come to Germany is it's not just pork. Yes, I know pork is probably the most popular dish on food product kind of thing you will have here in Germany, but I'll be honest, if you come here, this is probably the best place in the world for vegetarian and vegan food that you can find. And the people here, they're really to help you find those things. So they'll have on their menu, oh, this is a vegetarian dish, and this has, you know, if this has uh, conservatives on there, if it has caffeine, they're really cool with helping those things out. So the eighth thing that'll shock you when you come here is the fond. If you're not sure what fond is, it's a deposit. When you're going, if you're coming here for Christmas markets and you get your your mug of Glühwein, it'll say, oh, the Glühwein is three, four, five euros or whatever. And then there'll be this word called fond next to it with another, I don't know, five euros on top of that. So your five euro Glühwein or hot wine actual cost you 10. The thing is, if you turn that cup back in, you get the fond back, the, the deposit back, that five euros. Now the ninth thing that's gonna shock you when you come to Germany is when you actually drive on the Autobahn. It is shockingly scary how fast people drive. And yes, they do have uh, the really fast lanes, stuff like that, but also sometimes people are shocked when they find out there actually are speed limits on the Autobahn. It's not open road, open season all the time. And the 10th thing that shocks tourists when they do come to Germany Germany is the um, Freilicke Kuppe Kultur, or the free body culture of Germany. Look, Germans are very open with their nudity and things like that. And if you go to beaches or parks or things like that, you might see a nipple here, a penis there, these kind of things. And for some tourists that come from more um, humble countries like the US, that does kind of shock them when they see all that nudity. Anyway, those are 10 more things that might shock tourists when they come to Germany. It is an amazing place. I highly recommend it. So I'll say tschüss, or a little bit more formal, Auf Wiedersehen from Munich. Bye.